just wanted to do a video here to explain the process that I use when I'm using uh, Touch Jam's Jukebox. So one of the things I do is I run everything and I check all my song tags through MP3 tag. Uh, one of the things that I do is that when I'm putting a compilation album, for example, onto the Jukebox, I ensure that here the artist is recorded as various artists and under album artist it also shows various artists. In the name of the song, I would add the artist of the song along with the song title. Um, and this way, when I'm going through the jukebox and I go to V, for example, uh, everything with various artists, so soundtracks and whatnot, would populate. And that entire contents of the album would be in the one section. I also use a program called MP3 um, Gain to go in there and ensure that all my volumes are fixed and normal, so that when I use the jukebox, everything is consistent. The other thing I do is when I'm putting my music on the jukebox, I create a folder for all the artists. Uh, I apologize if it's blurry here. For all the artists, and then I put each album that I'm going to add to the jukebox in the jukebox under the artist. Uh, I don't think you have to do this. I just choose to do this. Now, when you go to open up Touch Jams, um, it will right away just search for new music and then populate with the new music and you'll see that under the um, recently added view so right now I've opened the program it's gonna load it's going to I apologize if it's washed out check for any new music that I may have added and then it will populate so now the jukebox has gone through it there's nothing new that I added I just go to my recently added here and anything I have new will be here. I also ensure that I have proper side art, sorry, album art in the jukebox. Uh, I try to make sure everything that the thumbs are about 500 by 500 just to ensure a decent quality. Um, and if I have to search for it on Google, I do that after. And this is pretty much all I do. Now when I want to play my music, I just scroll through it. And this is a touch screen. Uh, I've enabled the one click add feature. So that's it. So I just go in here and I, I pick my songs that I want to play. And then if I go to now playing, you'll see what's playing. You'll see what's up next. If I go to playlist, it's all the songs I've selected. And this is where you'll see everything that you're going to have playing on the jukebox in the list that you've populated.